Yeah. Yeah, it does smell different than Sheldon. It does smell a little different. It's barely. It's a very similar smell. Only about 700 years. But here in this particular valley, these coastal redwood trees slip through stunning 2,500 years. Those are the pistons right there. Those are the rollers. However, the pistons make the, 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 the rollers move and make the wheels move. They survive in the point dirt here for up to 10,000 years. How's that work? The roots look longer than the tree. Well, I'll tell you, that's my job. If you look at the face of most of the coastal redwood trees, you will see a whole bunch of cute little baby redwood tree sprouts growing in a circle around the base of the larger redwoods. That's the root system of that tree getting ready for that tree to get to its mature age and fall over. Once that occurs, the roots then send all their energy to those little sprouts that grew in a circle. Those sprouts will be quickly matured into a very small circle or cluster of redwood trees known as a cathedral grove or fairy ring, depending on what you're into. It's the same thing, call whatever you want. This keeps repeating every 2,500 years, each time making a slightly larger cathedral grove. Until after 9,000 years, you're left with a gigantic cathedral grove large enough to host a wedding in, like I'm gonna show you in about 20 minutes. This is how redwood trees reproduce about 85% of the time through their roots, producing genetic copies of each other. Yes, all those trees you see in those little clusters and circles, they all have the exact same DNA. One thing that makes each tree different is the amount of... Sorry about that. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, we're going back we're now on, on the Run Camp Railroad. Backwards on, a curve on the shade. Here's your poor engine crew. Right now, your engineer Doug and your fireman Russ are sitting about five feet from a fire that's raging at 2,750 degrees. This, of course, brings the ambient temperature inside the... Yeah, the steam train is pulling us backwards, literally. That's what we're going up next. This is the loudest chug you'll hear. One of the loudest chugs, I should say in the California. Here it comes. This is a Cebus grade in North, narrow gauge in Northern California, North America, sorry. Actually, North America, that's right. We'll be at Hallelujah Junction very soon. I'm gonna film until we get to Hallelujah Junction. We might slip because it's a little wet today. It is. Yeah, you can't tell, but this is actually a 11% grade, right? Yeah. 11% grade. We are going up, and the back is in the front now. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, did you happen to skip breakfast today? Thank you, Thomas. Because uh, guess what? We're pulling into Hallelujah Junction in one try. 
Let's give those poor sweaty guys in the cab a nice round of applause. They're showing off for you this morning. They appreciate it too. They just don't have a fancy microphone like me. Poor Russ. Now arriving at Hallyu Junction. <laughs> Anyhow, now with this large triangular shaped 181 acre piece of property, we're riding our train through today. Never being logged, ever. It's home to a whole bunch of cute little fuzzy woodland critters that like to scurry away from this giant yellow snake that we're all riding right now. There's the forest. Very beautiful ride. We got squirrels, we got skunks, foxes, raccoons. More importantly though, we also have North America's only native Mars. Now arriving. Yeah. Hallelujah we'll Junction. About those happy, humble, fabulous Halfway up the mountain. Ooh, possums. That's right, possums. Now before you go, ew, possums. Hear me out here, please. Possums are pretty awesome. Yeah, you, you can't see the where the, the back temperature. Basically, there's a dead end right over there. For them to contract yep. rabies. Yeah. Possums also eat fleas and ticks. They eat them, which is kind of gross, but what that actually means is that possums keep those populations under control in the wild. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't like fleas, ticks, or rabies, which you shouldn't, then maybe you should be a little nicer to North America's only native marsupial, those fabulous little O possums. <laughs> yeah, I know the O is silent. I just like saying it. We also got bobcats, tomcats, mountain lions, 